part two of our cross-country road trip and this morning we left Adelaide and we made a pit stop to get some groceries. We made a stop at the Pink Lake. It was pink but it was fully dried up which was really sad and it was very hot. It was 43 degrees and the flies were unbearable. Anyway, we made a pit stop at Port Pirie just to get a frozen coke because it was so hot and we kept on going to Wyala. In total, it was 4 hours and 26 minutes from Adelaide to Wyala and that was 395 kilometers. Hello, we have arrived in Wyala. I think that's how you pronounce it. I am so sweaty. This is definitely going to be the warmest day of our road trip. It's literally like 42 degrees and we've just checked into our accommodation. We're only staying for the night and then we're heading off tomorrow to our next stop. The drive from Adelaide to here was around four hours in total. So we made a few stops as you would have seen. Um, so it really broke up the day, which was good. But yeah, it was just obviously like friggin warm but i feel like the portable fan and the avene like thermal spray has been helping me loads but still man i am recovering <laughs> i'm like delirious i need to have more gatorade before i'm super dehydrated but oh my god i'm so sweaty i can't wait to take a shower our accommodation is so cute and tiny <laughs> super cozy at least um, the bathroom is really nice and clean. I love what they've done here. This is giving me major like home inspo of what I'd want to do near our front door. So cute. <laughs> Unfortunately, our sleep was really bad last night because live music was playing until really late. But anyway, we checked out of the accommodation, made a pit stop at Tumbi Bay before we had lunch at Del Giorno's Cafe at Port Lincoln, which was great. We stopped by at Winter Hill Lookout. It was really beautiful, but it was just so windy as you can tell. And we kept on going to Coffin Bay. Of the road trip and we stayed at the Venus Bay caravan park last night and we're just checking out of the accommodation it was such a beautiful view like our accommodation looked out right at the beach so that was really beautiful and the accommodation was really nice it was comfortable like we had a little kitchen a dining area a little desk situation and there was the TV and the bed was really comfy so it honestly had everything that we needed and now we're on the way to a a lookout nearby and today is more of a beach day because it's only a two-hour drive to our next destination which is Seduna so we're really gonna take our time today which is a really nice change <music> Thank you. 
Hello, we've just arrived at Smoky Bay Jetty and there's a lot of public restrooms here so that's probably a helpful thing <laughs> to know and we're gonna walk along the jetty the weather is not looking so good so we're not really having a beach day anymore which is pretty sad but there's still a few activities and lookouts that we can do throughout the day so hopefully we can get to the beach tomorrow morning when it's a bit warmer so I'll take you along the jetty and I'll show you the view. We arrived in Seduna and checked into our accommodation which was the East West Motel and we had dinner in our accommodation and watched something and man oh man this really reminded me of me and Q's uni days when we would do this together and just watch off a laptop and it was really nostalgic. Just checking out of our accommodation and we're loading the bags. Hello everyone, we are leaving Seduna this morning and then we're driving to Border Village which is about five hours away but we want to make a few stops along the way. So last night we stayed here at the Seduna East West Motel. Obviously the facilities are a bit older but it has all the essentials and we were there really just for the overnight stay. We were going to go to this pizza place yesterday which is like a food truck and we went to the park lot and there was no food truck inside which was a bit sad so we ended up just getting Hungry Jacks instead it's our first time having fast food on the trip and honestly I was expecting us to have more fast food we've just been surprised with a lot of the food options along the way because they've been really good but yeah had Hungry Jacks and this morning we just had breakfast over there because breakfast was included as part of our accommodation stay so Ki and I just had some toast and some orange orange juice and we are just heading on our way just putting on my sunscreen because it's gonna be 34 degrees today apparently we made a stop at the head of bite the head of the bite is a bay located in South Australia at the most northern extent of the great Australian bite and it was the most beautiful spot I would say in our whole road trip I had never seen the ocean like that. It was just so stunning, like an amazing turquoise color. And it's actually a really good spot to spot whales. The best months for whale watching are from June to October. So we didn't see any, but I'm so happy we made the stop. Today we're doing the big drive along the Nullarbor and we just made our first stop here in 
Where are we? Masuda? Medusa? Mas Medusa? I'm gonna pop the name here because I've literally just forgotten where we are. Anyway, I'm gonna have a little snack and then we still have five and a half hours to go until we're at Norseman. Mm. 